It's currently 11 in the morning. I have my ox cheek in the oven. And what do you do whilst you wait? Sip on some red wine, which we've used in the recipe. Cheers. That was a big sip for 11 in the morning. <laughs> This is beef cheek, not your most common cut of beef, a very fatty meat, and I guess that could be part of the reason. But for me, it's delicious, and I'm gonna break it down and show you how to make it. Start by prepping your vegetables, onion, carrots, and celery. This is a reminder to always wash your vegetables. You can see how dirty this celery is. We're gonna go in with some olive oil and preheat our pan and then brown our meat. Before browning the meat, I coated it in some olive oil and generously seasoned with some flaky sea salt. Give the meat a flip and you want to keep going until you get a beautiful, nice brown crust just like this. Crust achieved. Let's deglaze all that flavor and all that fat that's stuck to the bottom of the pan with 50 mils of brandy. Once you've scraped that flavor, go in with your vegetables, some garlic and season with salt and pepper. Add 500 mils of a good red wine and cook that out for around five to 10 minutes. Now all that booze has been cooked out, we're gonna add 500 mils of beef stock. Once the cheeks are nicely covered in that stock, we're gonna add three to four bay leaves and then some fresh thyme also. Cover your pot with a lid and then we're gonna throw our pot into the oven at 150 degrees Celsius for around two and a half to three hours, depending on how many cheeks you have. I have six and my pot is quite full, so I utilize the full three hours. If you're making smaller portions, it should take you a little less time. Now the meat is perfectly cooked, let's make the sauce. I start by removing the meat from all the juices and then I blend with a hand blender. You can use any blender, of course. This was just convenient for me as I had it to hand. Once your sauce is nice and smooth, we're gonna strain it to get it extra, extra silky smooth. Add that sauce into the frying pan with your beef cheeks and just baste for around 10 to 15 minutes to really maximize that flavor. Remove the beef from the sauce and set that aside to rest. While that's resting, we're gonna finish off our sauce by adding some butter and corn flour to thicken that sauce up. Once it coats the back of a spoon, you're ready to go. Remember to season your sauce to taste and a small tip, if you want it a bit sweet, you can add some honey or jam. A tablespoon should do. Anyway, I finish off the dish with some mashed potato, add my beef cheeks, and top it off with that amazing sauce and some fresh parsley. And there you have it, my braised beef cheeks recipe. A very simple and amazing dish that just requires some time and some love. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.